Hello, my name is Michelle. I'm one of the founders of the Patchwork School. We started Patchwork with the intention of creating a community for families and a non-coercive learning environment for students. We have four programs, toddlers, preschool, kinder, and school age aftercare. Our toddler program has a one to five ratio on any given day with 10 students and two teachers. Our preschool program has a one to six ratio with a maximum of 18 students. The kinder program has a one to seven ratio with a maximum of 14 students. Finally, our school age program offers after school care and summer camps for children ages five and up with a staff to student ratio of one to 10. In each program, we offer flexible scheduling, allowing students to be enrolled for two to five half or full days. The name Patchwork comes from the idea that we pull from multiple philosophies, allowing our education practices to evolve and grow with each individual child. The Patchwork approach to social emotional learning starts by viewing the social emotional well being of the students, teachers, and parents as our top priority. We value freedom, responsibility, and compassion for everyone in our community. By modeling and teaching nonviolent communication, we make space for expressing feelings in ways that enable each individual to take responsibility and advocate for themselves. At the same time, we utilize active listening techniques to develop and express empathy and compassion. When conflict arises, instead of top-down judgment or punishment, we use a restorative justice approach in which we can work together as a community to come up with solutions that work for everyone. This creates a sense of freedom within which creative ideas can arise. For instance, we might come up with a new plan for how we can share the water from the hose or different ideas for how to create a collaborative art piece. Each child then learns to communicate and work together to get what they need while also gaining valuable critical thinking skills. As for the curriculum, we pull from Reggio Emilia, democratic education, and humane education. At the core of each of these is a respect for the child, not as an empty vessel to be filled with knowledge, but as a competent, capable person, constantly learning from the world around them. So, just as a child instinctively learns to walk and talk, they will develop to their fullest potential if we trust in their innate drive to learn and grow. In the tradition of Reggio Emilia, our curriculum is emergent, growing out of whatever is alive for the community in the moment. For instance, we have researched worms when we notice them growing in the garden. We've hopped in our van to explore a nearby park, and we've built glider planes and birdhouses and catapults based on children's ideas. Students are able to follow their interests and adults are able to share their passions nurturing each person's inherent curiosity and love of learning. Thus, the student becomes an active participant in their education, rather than a passive recipient of instruction. While each program has its own flow of the day, there are aspects of each that are consistent throughout the whole school. Morning meeting, for example, happens around 10 a.m., giving students the opportunity to share a plan or idea for the day. Teachers may also announce community offerings made by parents and or teachers. After the meeting, students can then choose to participate in offerings, or they may choose to pursue something else. After the activities are over, we then facilitate cleanup, helping students take ownership for their spaces and materials. Lunch is another opportunity for encouraging responsibility by supporting students in taking care of their own lunches. This also helps with self-regulation, as they have the chance to feel hungry or thirsty and figure out how to meet their own needs. If you're interested in learning more about the Patchwork Approach, we would love to have you join us for a tour. We look forward to welcoming you into our community. Thanks for watching.